I don't like talking about myself much, but I do like the name Miranda, which works out great since Miranda is one of the most interesting places in our solar system. So let's talk about the marvelous icy moon with an incredible name. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Unlike me, who was discovered by an agent, Moon Miranda got her big break thanks to astronomer Gerard Kuiper in 1948. Equipped with the 82-inch Otto Struve telescope at the McDonald Observatory in Fort Davis, Texas, Kuiper spotted this moon orbiting Uranus on February 16, 1948, marking the first satellite discovery around the planet in nearly 100 years. Inspired by Shakespeare's The Tempest, Kuiper named it Miranda, breaking the tradition of naming Uranian moons after fairies by choosing a human character instead. If there are any fairies watching, I just want you to know that I respect you and you don't need to curse me or do any weird fairy magic. We're cool. Then, in 1986, the Voyager 2 space probe flew by Uranus, and while it wasn't the closest flyby of the planet, Voyager 2 got within 29,000 kilometers of Miranda. Photos captured by Voyager 2 have fascinated planetary scientists ever since. It's about 500 kilometers in diameter, making it a smaller moon compared to other major moons. For comparison, it's only one-seventh the size of Earth's moon. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in personality. Its surface looks like it was designed by me at a buffet, indecisive and all over the place. There are huge cliffs, giant craters, canyons, and what looks like patchwork designs. Just take a look at this moon. Miranda's surface is a jumble of fractures, faults, valleys, craters, ridges, gorges, cliffs, and terraces. Some parts are older and darker, covered in craters, typical of an inactive moon. But then there are sections made up of rectangular and oval strips with intricate patterns of ridges. You'll even spot patches of bright and dark material scattered throughout, suggesting there's something unique going on beneath the surface. Miranda has three massive features called corona, which are very rare in our solar system. These lightly cratered areas full of ridges and valleys are sharply separated from the older, more cratered terrain, like mismatched patches on a worn out coat. These features are estimated to have been formed a lot more recently than the rest of the surface around them. Among Miranda's epic fault canyons is Verona Rupes, a rocky formation that's a staggering 12 miles high, making it the tallest cliff in the entire solar system. If you were brave enough to jump off, which I really wouldn't suggest, you'd be falling for a solid 10 minutes thanks to Miranda's low gravity, which has less than 1% of Earth's gravitational force. But how did it get such a varied landscape? Scientists don't completely agree right now. Given its size, it seems unlikely to support much tectonic activity, which is what normally plays a significant role in shaping a planet's unique look. One theory is that this moon got in an interstellar accident, crashing, smashing apart, and reforming into the beautiful Miranda we know and love today. Another option is that meteorites struck Miranda, bringing enough heat to melt the moon's icy surface. Slushy water then rose to the surface and refroze. According to Brown University planetary scientists Noah Hammond and Amy Barr, the relatively crater-free regions could result from ancient hot spots in the moon's icy crust, which is about 100 miles thick. Hammond noted that despite being incredibly cold, a lot of geological activity exists on this moon. This explanation suggests that Miranda's corona formed through geological processes linked to a past orbit around Uranus that took it both closer to and further from the planet. This may have created significant tidal heating by pulling on and flexing the moon's icy shell. Just as when you bend a paperclip repeatedly it can get warm, the researchers hypothesize that this could have generated heat that changed the surface features of the moon. There's still a lot to learn, and scientists are pushing for more missions to the outer planets. We might see a Uranus orbiter in the future, and that would give us a ton of new data about Miranda, and we could finally figure out why she looks the way she does. So until then, this Miranda will have to do. But hey, I think I'm a pretty good stand-in, right? Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.